guys, Mick from Oztrex here. Just going to go through my battery uh, design setup that I've been requested to do. So give me two ticks, I'll rip out the fridge and we'll uh, get in there and have a closer look. Alright, so this is my battery box set up here. Designed it completely off the top of my head, no plans whatsoever. So if you're asking me how to do it, how to build it, you're just gonna have to wing it and give it a shot yourself. But um, just to go through a few things, the panel I bought off eBay, I think it was eBay or Amazon. I have to check, I'll put the description of everything in the link below. Uh, that panel there cost me about 60 bucks, I think it was. Um, comes with USB ports. Any a 1 amp and a 2.1 amp on the charge, so I'm gonna upgrade that shortly. Um, voltage for the battery and a cigarette lighter socket, which I don't really use because I've got the fridge wired to the ends and plugged down here. So my side lights are wired off of this one, and my fridge is actually on a switch because with the angle fridges, um, those ones there. When you turn it off, it actually adjusts the temperature, and I didn't want to bother mucking around with that, and then have it all work it out. That there is my temperature gauge for the fridge, the ambient temperature and the fridge temperature, so I know what inside outside temps are. So, yeah, here's the fun part. So, I can get all, to all my wiring for the front panel, working that little latch there. And um, that then gives me access to up 240 volt to do my charging when I want it. Um, so I use a NOCO 7.2 amp charger. Now I've still need to reinforce in here, I haven't done it yet, I did split it through here at one point and I dropped it, but just to show you in here, it swivels up on the hinge, that allows me to get to my battery in here and my positive and negative coils some bus bars at some point later on, which would be the ideal way to do it. Um, regarding solar, I was going to try and mount a solar regulator to the box to run a panel, but I've decided that instead of doing that, I'm going to change to a DC charger up the front instead of this oscillator that I'm running at the moment, which is the Intervolt random one. And, um, and yeah, I will then run my solar from the front of the vehicle instead of trying to run it all the way back here. But, that's it, just got a battery tray that's bolted through onto the wing of the uh, Titan drawers here. Um, I also have to step that up so So, um, yeah, so I'm to step up here so the fridge slide doesn't drag on the box. Makes it move a little bit better. And um, yeah, just got some plastic posts on the back of the box here. On there, so nothing shorts out. So, and yeah, yeah, obviously, battery tray. I've got a battery hold down clamp here, too, so that doesn't go anywhere. It's not some secure. Um, so, yeah, that's my little design. It's not hard. It's drilled, I think this uh, battery box held down by three bolts through the battery tray through the wing, so that doesn't go anywhere either. So, so yeah, that's pretty much my battery box. Then I just carpeted the thing and stapled it as well. Yeah, just lock that up there. There and it keeps it all secure, it doesn't go anywhere. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And, um, yeah, well, that's it. My battery box, really. So, this here is my uh, back of my battery box. You should be able to see it. So, you've got the uh, couple of posts on the back there. Um, Anderson plug in the middle goes to my compressor, and the one on the bottom right there is so I can disconnect the battery box from the main wiring harness if I need to, to pull it out. So, which is a bit of a mission considering the battery weighs almost 30 kilos. So yeah, that's the back of the battery box. So there's my battery setup guys. If you uh, like what you've seen, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll do more videos as we go. Um, 
If there's anything you want to ask, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll add some links in there as well. Let you know where to buy some of the items that I've used in my battery box. Go on guys, catch you next time.